Hello and welcome to this episode of Back to Life. This is gonna be a, a bit different episode than previous episodes. The reason for that is that we lost some footage during the rally. So we woke up Saturday morning, race day, ready, not sharp. I was very tired. We had two days of testing and then the day before the rally we did a uh, Recce. Together with Miriam Walfus and my co-driver, we spend between 12 and 14 hours. While the pro guys probably spend between 6 and 8 hours. Just woke up for the race day. My foot is already shaking. It's going to go fast today. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. A bit nervous, I have to say. After breakfast, we went down to the service park, uh, had a look at the cars, uh, went from service to, to stage one. It's so big difference between a race and a test. Like it's completely, completely different. And it's, it always is. It doesn't matter if I do do rallycross test and then come to a race. You know, it's the nerves are getting there and, and you start thinking and it's always a couple of extra elements. Anyway, it was time for the big challenge, and that was the rallying itself. <laughs> like, like you guys know, rallying is a big, big difference from rallycross. Like rallycross, you do one corner a thousand times. In rallying, you do a thousand corners one time, and you get only get one chance to nail it. Through stage one, I all of a sudden noticed some problems with the car. The same problem we had Thursday, the last stage we did on the test. Oh. We just got half the way through stage two and had to retire during some fuel issues. So we stopped at SS2, there we are, in Winter Wonderland, feels a bit uh, weird because the car just stopped by itself and um, and I have no idea what happened, we, we wasn't even close to pushing and uh, I feel the rally didn't start for us, so a bit sad, but uh, after the experience we had on the test and uh, all the fun we had in the car, I'm sure this is not the last opportunity I get to drive such a car. So I had fun, even though it didn't went the way I, I wanted it to go. But no point to be grumpy. I went back to the service area after we had taken the car back to the, to the service and picked it up in the forest at stage two. And uh, yeah, I met up with Anders Grundahl. Uh, we had a bit of a chat with uh, my teammates how his day had been. So Anders, uh, when I retire, you're still in the rally. What position are you in? I'm third overall. I'm not so happy about today. I'm we need more speed. I need a lot more speed. Uh, the two other guys are flying, so uh, <laughs> you sport. had a really good opening stage, even with the engine lagging. And I was so looking forward to what you could do. And I think you can win stages. Uh, so I hope I see you back in the R2T very soon. So if you guys know Numedal's rally, I want to be back. <laughs> yeah, we want you back in the team as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all in all, it was a very good. Uh, experience especially the two test days i enjoyed so much uh, we had some great uh, moments up in the norwegian winter wonderland anyway it's time for me to say goodbye but first i want to say thank you guys for watching this channel backward life is really a big project for me i love doing it i i have fun behind the camera or in front of the camera and uh, yeah, I'm learning all the time. Hopefully we can create even better footage uh, in the future. We, we learn all the time and uh, like this weekend we lost some footage, but it happens with that said. Have a good day. Bye.